All right, we're gonna have some fun today. What I wanna do is come up with a ballistic chart in real time for this uh, Independence 25 caliber pellet gun. Now, we could do that with ballistic software, but uh, we'd have to know things like uh, ballistic coefficient of the pellet, the weight, altitude, temperature, velocity, all those kind of things. And I've got a pretty good guess, except for the ballistic co coefficient. They don't really print that on the, the pellet can, so I don't know what it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a real one. I, in reality, am quite a poor shot. But I make up for that by knowing what my gun will do. And I usually come home with some pretty good stuff, where if the other guys uh, take shots, they don't really know what the outcome is going to be. So if you know the, the ballistic curve of your gun and you've got uh, a good guess on the range, which you can pin that down with the laser range finder, then uh, you can improve your performance quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we've got a board set up here, marked at 25, 50, 75, and 100 yards. So we're going to uh, range that with the laser range finder. Should be dead on at 25. That's going to be our point of aim in every case is the little orange dots. But we're not going to correct for elevation. We're just going to aim at the orange dot and the bullet's going to end up where it will. We've got a 25 yard zero set into the rifle already, so that should be dead on. 50, I'm guessing, will come in down around here somewhere, 75 maybe here. 100, we may not even be on the paper, and we'll see how that drops off with uh, distance. Um, we'll hook the scope cam up and try and get some real uh, real time shots, I guess you would say. I don't know how that well it's going to work. But uh, it's almost a perfect day, so let's get going before the wind comes up. Now we're at 50 yards. I got a feeling that we're going to do pretty good from here. Well enough to get a bunny rabbit. Or a squirrel, possibly. All right, here we are at 75 yards. Here's the target. Now, my plan didn't work out as uh, well as I would have wished today. I brought the wrong chair and this bench is kind of wobbly. Getting just a little hint of wind now. And uh, so part of our uh, accuracy results may be a little bit slewed because of uh, my ability to shoot off my knee uh, from this distance. But I think it's going to come out pretty good. We'll see. All right, here I am out at 100 yards. Uh, the target's way down there. That's a long shot for a pellet gun. Unfortunately, uh, I'm having issues with the uh, scope cam thing. It's a bright day out here. It's hard for me to see the screen and aim accurately, so I'm just gonna aim at these manually. And uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay. Here's the results of our ballistic test, so we're ready to draw our graph now. I actually shot these in reverse order because up here on this hill I knew the wind was going to come up and I wanted to maximize my 100 yard group here. 50, uh, I'm, I don't know what happened there, but anyway, uh, 25 yard shot went all through the same hole. Then if you average the 50 yard shot out, uh, I don't know what happened there. Maybe the wind picked up or I was just getting tired because that's the last one I shot. Then we come down to here. And then at 75. Average those out. That would be about right there. And then at 100. It 
it drop way off. So, interesting. Uh, I don't know what kind of group that is, but they're all in the same hole, so that's pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, that's a uh, two and a quarter inch group at 50, which I'm not proud of, but it's probably me, so don't, don't blame the guy on that one. Uh, 75 yard shot, right at one inch, and uh, I'm real pleased with the 100 yard group, which uh, came in at about an inch and a half, and for a pellet gun, that's, that's pretty darn good. Now, if we look at the drop, at 50, drops uh, about an inch and a half, maybe a little bit more. That just happens to coincide with the second bottom of the stick reticle, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, 75 yards, looks like we've got six and a half inches. And then at 100 yards, it drops uh, 17 and a half inches. Now, if you put that into perspective, that's the same as shooting a, probably a 270 Winchester at, uh, oh, I don't know, four or 500 yards. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, that's certainly enough to hit a rabbit or a squirrel in the head at 100 yards. Uh, the longest shot I've taken with this uh, pellet gun was 89 yards on a jackrabbit, and uh, it did the job. So we'll conclude that the, uh, the gun is capable of uh, shooting out to 100 yards accurately, which is what you need. Remember, we talked about that in another video. A pellet gun hunter has got to be precise because you don't have much whammy and these pellets are throwing out there much force. Now, what we could do now, although I'm getting hot and I don't really want to do it right now, is we could look through our scope. And by the way, if any of you guys have perfected the scope cam thing and have an adapter that works better than the one I got from Cabela's, so let me know. So what we could do at this point, if I'm thinking correctly, I think I am, is if we wanted to see what, which one of these dots we should use for these various ranges, then all we have to do is put the cross here in the middle and then see where the average of these shots ends up. And I know from previous practice that's my 50 yard uh, dot right there. So then I would back up to 75 yard, don't pay attention to that, that was a mistake. I could back uh, there's 50 yards. I could back up to 75 yards, put the crosshairs on here, and see which one of these dots lines up with my average of holes there, and then the same thing with 100. Then I could make a little tape. I've got a label maker, and if we call this zero and this one and two, three, and then where the big line hits, maybe five, I guess. Then I could go, okay, one is, or zero is zero, which is 25 yards. One is 50, two and a half is 75, and five is 100. Then, in conjunction with my tricky laser rangefinder, which I've lost, which upsets me because that's an expensive toy. Where do we go? Oh, here it is. In conjunction with my little Leica Rangemaster 1200 here, I could get the exact distance to my target. Sometimes I might have to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, get the turn. Anyway, get my uh, Go in between the dots to get maybe, say, 86 yards or whatever, but I'd have a good guess of, uh, pretty good guess. Of where I need to put my crosshairs in order to hit a target long range. We've also talked about the fact that pellet guns are a real good tool for the uh, the bigger guns because when you're shooting long range with a big gun, you're going to run into something similar to this. So if you learn how to compensate uh, with the air rifle, then uh, it'll be second nature when you go to the bigger guns. The only difference is. It's just further out there. Uh, but it's the same concept, and with the Pelagon, we can get a good handle on it on a 100 yard range. Whereas with my 7 mag, uh, it's hard for me to find a place where I can shoot a thousand yards. And 
it's also a pain in the butt because then I've got to go down and look at my target and see where I hit. And a thousand yards is a long way. But anyway, uh, hope you learned something from this. Uh, it's fun to do. You know, like I say, you don't need but a hundred yard range. You can go out, try it out. And even though uh, ballistic programs will probably draw something uh, almost identical to this, uh, you've got a real time ballistic curve. I'm going to save this so that I'll know uh, if I put the gun up for six months or whatever and bring it back out again, I'll know what I need to do to uh, whack a rabbit at, say, 100 yards. And uh, that's pretty much it. Again, I don't make any money off this thing. I'm not trying to sell FX air guns. I'm sure Day State and some of the others out there are, are good. Uh, maybe even better, I don't know. Uh, but I'm happy with this one, so that's good enough. And remember, when you're air rifle hunting, your motto is, if you don't hit him in the eye, you missed. He stopped looking at you. You dropped him, Dagger. Good job. Nice him. shot. Woo Good shooting, Dag. What do you think, Dag? I pulled that one out of my ass. Oh, my. <laughs> Nice shooting!